Therefore, we recommend that Israel do the following. One, recognize the right of the Palestinian people to self-determination in accordance with its obligations under the two international covenants. Two, to cease the construction of the segregation wall and remove the wall in line with the advisory opinion issued by the International Course of Justice and paying damages to victims of the wall. Three, recognize the right of return of refugees in line with General Assembly Resolution 194. Four, cease settlement activities in the occupied Palestinian territory, including natural growth, and cease the exploitation and destruction of natural and agricultural resources of the Palestinian people. Five, abrogate illegal measures taken to annex and Judaize Jerusalem and guarantee freedom of worship and access to places of worship. Six, revoke decisions that legalize torture in line with its obligations under the Convention Against Torture and refrain from any extrajudicial killings. Seven, disband and remove all military roadblocks in order to allow people to practice their right to freedom of movement and their rights to education and health and open all border crossings. Eight, put an end to measures of collective punishment immediately. This is a violation of Article 7 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and put an end to the blockade imposed on occupied Palestinian territories, particularly Gaza, urgently and uh, give access uh, to uh, humanitarian assistance and others. Nine, release all prisoners and detainees, particularly children, women, and political figures. There are over 7,800 Palestinian uh, detainees in Israel. Ten, cooperate with the United Nations resolutions, including uh, those uh, taken on fact-finding missions and special procedures. Uh, 11. Terminate uh, uh, occupation of Palestinian territories uh, occupied since the 4th of June 1967. This is the greatest violation, occupation itself, uh, and fulfill its obligations uh, under the roadmap. Israel should freeze settlement, uh, continue direct negotiations, uh, which should lead uh, to the recognition of the 4th of June 1967 borders as the international borders of an independent sovereign state of Palestine with Jerusalem as its capital in accordance with the efforts of the international community and the Arab Peace Initiative to set up two states that live side by side. Uh, in security and peace, uh, thus reflecting positively on the security and stability in the whole region. Thank you, sir. Thank you.